In this video, I'm going to look at the 1947 photos of the Birdsick Road area. So it started from my website, Mission History Notes, Aerial Photos. Birdsick Road, Marron Walk, the Street. Previous video, we've looked at the photos from 1937. Now let's have a look at those from 1947, for which there are eight in total. It says at the bottom, the Kiner and Company works alongside the London Road playing field to Mitchum, 1947. Flown the length of April, 1947. So, in the foreground, we can see the railway line. There's that long footbridge, which is leads into Ravensbury Path. Clear the sidings from the railway line, which is why well, it's called Benedict Wharf. Another railway bridge over here. And this expanse is the London Road playing fields. Now, this photograph is post World War II, hence, along the London Road, we have a number of huts or hutlets, temporary housing for those people who were bombed out of their homes due to enemy action. This looks like Mitcham Park. In fact, yeah, you can see, you can see that curved building. Yeah, that's the Brown Coat Court. And this would be Denham Crescent. The Wilson Hospital. It's not giving us any more of a zoom on these. Here's the cricket ground. The Bone Book on the corner. The Arms Houses of Mary Tate. You can just about make out the area of Lower Green, East or Cricket Green. It's laid out as a lot of areas for World War II food production. Similarly, the land of the Kellens. This large building, top, a photo, Cumberland House, another donation by Sir Isaac Wilson. And there was where he lived, at the Birches. That's currently in ownership of the NHS. Convent House was demolished and buildings were put up. Currently the Dementia Centre, or Dementia Hub, Merlin's Dementia Hub. The White House building. And that would be Cold Blows Power leading to Three Game Peace, Restry Hall, and in the absence of pub, as I said in the previous video, the Cricketer's pub was destroyed by a parachute mine. Just about to see the Mitcham Fire Station. Broadway Gardens, Church Park. Yeah, good details, a shame about the lack of zoom. 
let's go back then to our list and have a look at the second one. This is now looking towards the Harris Church, Church Road, Cemetery. Miles Road, these factories will be Irish oh, factories, Parsons, again there's like a museum here, this building on the corner of Church Road and Benedict Road was the Star Pub. Two blocks of flats there now. This was the Star School, or the Lower Mission School. Currently, the music primary. This row of houses, Moffat Gardens. These houses are in Church Park. John's Place, Maple Terrace. There's the Vicarage. Vicarage Gardens. And there are the factories. Let's go and look at another photo. Harris Church, Churchyard. Very similar view to what we just looked at. Another view of Hall Place. Show there is on a better zoom. Because you can see parts of the roof from this one. Broadway Gardens, the Vestry Hall, the old fire station, and the Lackhoff Pub. But you can see the double decker buses parked up there. I think the 44 bus, for example, terminated there. And that and there terminates in Teaching. There's the Kruger Green. You can see Mitchum Court there. The Elm Lodge. Parts of the telephone exchange. You can just about see temporary housing huts there, which is where Glebe Court Estate was built. And look at another one. There's the parish church again, Church Road. As discussed, that's a view of the Star School buildings. And there, we can see a road that no longer exists, is Century Road. And a playing field, which was the One Gas Sports Ground. One Gas being the Wandsworth Gas Company, which included Ridgham and Wimbledon Gas Companies. GLC housing subsequently. I'm quite sure what this cylindrical, cylindrical building was. So, Century Road, Belgrave Walk. Some more huts there, temporary housing for people being bombed out. Let's have a look at an OS map.
this is more or less the view that we're looking at Century Road, Belbury Walk, Boomwood Road. And these are hutments, these are houses. This was a 1952 orbit survey map. So that's Homewood Road there. You can see the curvatures of the hubmoots. And beyond it, parallel to it, Chapel Road. Okay, the another road that no longer exists. So that's there. Chapel Road. And Chapel Road goes in a small L shape. See where it goes here? Chapel Road and then just around the corner. So there's... Strangely numbered. Hen. Four. Come back to the right side. So that's 10 and 4 there. So the chapel road is along here and then round and up to the church right. And beyond it is the cock chimney works. Can't see it in the photo. It's basically a cock roll from the top of the chimney. Bats from Throat, Peppermint Distillery, which is Tommy J. Bush, and there, that's Bats from Throat, no, sorry, Belgrade Walk, Bats from Throat is around the back of it, do this again, Bats from Throat is there, I can't really see it, but we should be able to discern the show car factory. The show car factory there yeah. between Chapel and Homewood. The show car factory was called Perlo, P E R L O. And some of my relatives were there. I've got a photograph of them somewhere. Let's look up another photo. So that was, you know, seven, three out of eight. Now we're looking towards Deer Park Gardens. And because the time of year, the leaves have not come back on the trees, you can see into or in all Park. There's the Morgan Road. The road is Tavern on the corner of Ravensbury Grove. This was the British Electric Meter Company. Can't actually see the wording. Can the wording here? Yeah. Although that might be a silly thing to say, because I presume the wordings on factories were removed so as not to aid enemy aircraft from spotting where they were. And there's the wharf and the various wagons. William for April. 1947. So we've got another one. 309. Similar view that we've seen before. Nothing new here. Let's move on. To 30. To 310. Yes, 310. Ah, here we go. 
if you recall, I was referring to the top chimney. Uh, not surprisingly, you can't actually see the cobra at the top of this chimney, but that was the top chimney. We can confirm this by checking against the map. The top chimney works. On the other side of Chapel Road. And as I've said, Homewood Road, Chapel Road, and the top chimney works. Now this area, as I said before, this was the Permo show card factory. Show cards being advertising cards to put on show in shops and buses and stuff. And this was the peppermint factory, peppermint distillery of W.J. Bush. They didn't just distill peppermint now. It was a part of a, a business that was based in Hackney originally. And there's lots of different chemicals. And what's remaining on the Bath Road, the Bath Tavern pub is that building there. We see that on the map. A Bath Tavern, and there is in Bath Road, one building on the right hand side. And corner of Bath Road and Belgrave Road. Queen's Road runs parallel, and all of these structures are hut moats, temporary housing. And you can see them. They're not the curved roof ones that we saw earlier on. And these were, I think, constructed because of this factory exploding in 1933. They were boiling, if you can believe this, 1,000 gallons of methylated spirits. One particular morning, I think it was the 1st of April, 1933, about 7 a.m., it blew up and destroyed a number of houses. There was fortunately only one fatality, but even so, that's one more than it should be. And most of the people from this housing area, which used to be called Rocky, were rehoused, wandering temporarily into the temporary housing and then almost to new estates that were built where well, that's really something I'd like to do in a separate video. So as I said this was the one gas sports grounds with a football pitch there and tennis courts and this strange sunning ducal building. And there's a factory in the sidings or how you but let's go on to the last one, number 11. And this view get our bearings. Here is Deer Park Gardens, Morden Road, Rainsbury Grove. So that it's going to be the Surrey Arms. And we go around the corner, around over there. So it's all Morland type things. Yes, yeah, housing, etc. And this is Rodensbury Park. Parts of it, anyway. Don't see me. A bit. Not much, but there you go. The sidings of Benedict Wharf. Oh, yeah. But this whole area was then built for there were new houses built here then after nineteen forty seven. They've been demolished now for new housing, and quite recently the Buddha contractor has gone bust. Oh, well. mm -hmm. there's some more walking along there. Well, that was the 1947 view. If you like this video, please like it by pressing the like button, and perhaps you might want to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to review. 
all of these hundred photographs that are available on the Historic England website, to which, as I said before, I've provided links on my Mitchell History Notes website. Mm. And a link to this page will be in the description of this video. Thank you for watching.